That was a Tribe Call Quest Trek the Rhyme. So a lot of people have a lot of things to say. Why isn't Kamala talking to the media? She's been, uh, you know, on the campaign trail for 24 days. She hasn't talked to the media. Kamala's talking to the American people. It's awful arrogant that the media uh, believe that they uh, need for the can uh, candidate to talk to them in order to have a conversation with the American people. And I think the media thinks that they have more reach and expanse than they do. Most people, more as many people get their name from social, get their news from social media as they do traditional media outlets. I think it is wise for Kamala Harris to let Donald Trump keep, what do they say, if your enemy's digging a hole, let him keep digging? What is she going to say that's the equal of the dumb stuff that Donald says all the time? People call this a honeymoon, but you know, a honeymoon is a short amount of time. But it, you, it couldn't really apply if you're only going to be married a little while. This is a truncated uh, campaign pain season. It's only a few months. And in a few weeks, in a few weeks from right now, early voting will begin in most of the United States of America. So the ideas that people have, the things that they're saying and believing in right now, are the things they'll vote on. And I would suggest, and it is my hope, that people who are planning to vote do so early. Let's, let's make a, a concerted effort to make sure that those ballots that come in, you send them in early. And also do this. Do the same things you do when you don't remember that there was this phenomenon everybody thought that they were attributing box office sales to certain movies. So everybody was encouraging you to look on the back of your ticket and make sure. Look at your registration and make sure you're really registered to vote. This is not a honeymoon. If the honeymoon it, it, it is, is the trickling down when people start to get to learn, get to know somebody and they start to like them less. But we're not in that process. This wave is taking off. And in a few weeks, early voting will get, begin in the United States of America. A few weeks. And so those things that they're saying that they believe right now will be the things that they vote on. They have made it increasingly harder in all kinds of places for black people to vote. They want to do manual counting in some place and to be able to not count ballots in some place. I would suggest this, that everybody that can get a, a, a ballot early and send it in as early as possible. And to make sure that you are registered to vote. Because the game is they're kicking people off rolls. They're, 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 they're trying to go to city council who make it harder to count votes and to, to certify votes. We already know what the game is. Just like you check those movies to make sure that you ain't giving your money to bad, that it ain't going to my left shoe instead of bad boys, make sure you're registered to vote. This honeymoon that they're talking about only applies for a regular uh, campaign season. This is a truncated one. Literally, soon after the DNC happens, people will have the right to vote. And I suggest, and it's my sincere hope, sincere, I know as soon as I get my ballot, I know what I'm doing. And hopefully he'll have said something just as stupid the day I pull the lever. But the truth of the matter is, we're, people are starting to make, after Labor Day, is traditionally when Americans tune in to what's happening. And if they tune in to see this uh, runaway freight train as she is, it'll have an impact on them. And the more desperate... Uh, he becomes, the more erratic he becomes, the more crazy things he does, the harder it is gonna, it's going to be to suss through all these things. I just hope that as soon as you get those ballots, you send them in. And if you're not going to do that, make sure that you are registered to vote in all these places all over the country because that's the game. They know how how, how close this thing's going to be. They know how, how, how uh, Kamala Harris has a, a, a head full of steam and a lot of momentum. And it's up to us to make sure that we do our part. That's a little note from the GED section. Got a jazz report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughes Show.